Hi guys, I'm the sister here and this is my cheerful, cheerful salutation is <laughs> this introduction, let's say introduction, because I think like every time I do my intro it's sad or not with enough energy or stuff and this was my cheerful introduction and this time I'm doing another speed build in Sims 4 as you can tell and it is about this super cute little one bedroom house for the notorious crazy cat lady from the Sims for Cat and Dogs expansion pack. I am recording this with my kitty which is cleaning herself. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to interact with me, I am aware of this. So I thought to build her, to rebuild her house, yeah, and I actually, <laughs> in my, it's not defense, but it's not defense, it's like, I don't know how her original house looked like, sorry about that, but I think I made a better one, a better one for me, <laughs> of course, not for, I don't know, whatever, move on, so, I am mixing the outdoor, it's not mixing, but I'm bringing all the greenery to this lot. I don't know why, I think I've used almost every potted plant that could actually, can actually found on the buy catalog, the build catalog, the build or buy, the buy, I think the buy catalog, I, I mixed, I, I placed them all because I wanted to make this beautiful it's like a shack i don't know these terms beach shack oh there are lots of lots of other terms for small or large houses that I, i'm not familiar with but i'm building this on the docks and i wanted to give it the idea that I don't know, the person who lives here not even loves cats but loves the greenery and the outdoor area as much as the cats so the owner loves everything that's alive. <laughs> I want to use lots of lots of colorful colors and some neutral ones like this mm, blue, greenish blue that I love, I love that color. It's one of my favorite, this and mint green. Yeah, so I'm, for, I'm furnishing this and I'm building this. And I forgot that are three or four, there are three cats and one kitten in this house. And I forgot about them and I will start placing footballs and everything later on, so don't freak out. <laughs> I do not forgot. And I wanted to use lots of lots of things from the cats and dogs expansion pack, like the windows. And the door is not from the expansion pack, it's from warm movie hangout stuff. Is that the thing? Because <laughs> there are so many right now, and I have to admit, right now, in this moment, after cats and dogs, we have a lot of lots lot a lot of stuff to build with and I think that seems for it's in a good place right now it's not lacking much content I think after the seasons and I don't know some kind of a university game pack if not a stuff pack this game would be pretty much complete do you guys think that the the IA team will start working at Sims 5? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Because this game, you have to admit, is buggy AF. The Sims 3 was laggy AF, but this is buggy AF. So, I don't know what to say, I love it. I love the interactions, it's more... Like, the sims are more alive in this, the sims 4, and the colors are more more beautiful and bright than, than sims 3, but I don't know. I love sims 4, man. I just do. 
so what else so in this outdoor space in the front i will place a lot of greenery a lot of potted plants a lot of flowers a lot just a lot i don't know what it was but i found actually a picture on pinterest and with lots of plants outside the house and it gave me this idea so i said why not let's just use them okay mm, i don't know many things about this lady i played with her a bit the lady this lady that lives in here with four cats a crazy cat lady from the trailer that everyone knows and mm, every time you play with her you have to take her cats to the vet i don't know what it is but mm, they just get sick every time and every time you play with a vet clinic you have to have this lady with her cats in here i don't know why they just keep getting sick but i think they're cute they're very cute and the crossed eye one it's so cute i don't know what it is personally i don't know but i don't want to have a crossed eye cat yeah nope my cat is good as he is <laughs> not crossed eye cat i don't know i i like to see them but not to own them they're cute but not for me move on so uh -uh. the exterior the front of the house is pretty much done so after this greenery up here i'm going to start furnishing the back and i'm using these fairy lights a lot because i think they're perfect for the dogs and on this side of the house i thought it was the trickier trickiest part of the whole house because it's just blend it's a wall so we have to make it look interesting you know so with greenery of course because this is the theme of this building greenery everywhere use as much as much <laughs> as much greenery as you want so yes a little bit of greenery on this side as well some ivy plants i think this is ivy kind of kind of yeah and i'm using this pot again and a bit of light lights everywhere more plants and i'm start mm, oh yeah fair lights in there fitted perfectly it was like a oh my god so cool <laughs> i love when things fit perfect in places they are not intent to and i'm using this grill i've used this grill it's from the toddler stuff pack i guess i've used this grill one more time in my um mm, shipping container oh my last shipping container house and um what else here i will remind in this part that we have kitties and we're gonna play some footballs and i love that little chair is that from the poof category it is one of my favorites right now this little round chair is perfect i think it's perfect and i i want to have it in my own house and that that duck statue i've never used it before so i said maybe this is the right time so i'm placing a chess table some things for um, the spa day because i think it's perfect to have a place where you can relax and meditate for a bit you know just you and your thoughts and some i don't know if cats can get those toys or are they just for dogs but i think why not so i'm placing some footballs and some litter boxes outside and because we have four cats this lady has four cats those little boxes got full instantly instant instant <laughs> they got full man 
yes yeah, so now I'm using some clutter items from the cat and dogs because this house has a lot a lot of plants and a lot of clutter items and I love this color blue teal color I think it's not that mint green it's a teal color I think yes nice outdoor space comfy with again some plants and that sunflower vase it's actually floating <laughs> I don't know why I've seen it in some screenshots I don't know if I included that screenshots where you can see it's floating but whatever I'm placing this umbrella it came with actually it came with the get together yes so actually I'm using every stuff pack that you can possibly have and yes the cat is still cleaning herself from the beginning of the video I'm not going to talk with her in English because I don't think she understands <laughs> I don't think she understands me anyway so move on some beans outdoor beans and mailboxes I always always forget this in all of my builds so now I did not <laughs> Moving on to, to, to the interior now, I have to admit the interior was a bit tricky for me to furnish because it has such a weird layout, I can say, and I'm using this that wallpaper and from the for the bathroom I'll leave it that peach pink color. Okay. Okay, I'm doing the kitchen now and I have to admit those parenthood not parenthood these are parenthood counters they are the best the parenthood fridge the everything the best the best the best and I simply cannot use other other counters and I don't know why because we have a bar from the cats and dogs why we didn't get the counters from that bar because that bar is amazing and I'm pissed okay so I'm building the small island in here and there I thought like I've lost all my space in this kitchen in this whole living area just by using that by placing that kitchen but in the end everything will will flow perfectly and we'll have a place we can move around and stuff and more shelves to place more clutter because this house is plants and clutter house yes this is everything you can see in this house can you imagine dusting everything Ugh, I had I hate dusting I can do anything else in this world but not dusting I think it's the most boring activity you can do and you have to do it which is annoying okay more potted plants and I'm using this thing where you place lots of lots of things on a counter and then place the one you want in the place you want because you've used all the snapping points from that counter yes this is a geni genial genius thing who come up with that helps a lot is the building more plants and oh this lights these lights are gorgeous from the cats and dogs expansion pack I think this expansion pack came with a lot of great stuff those curtains are gorgeous gorgeous I have to say an accent table and I will place that mouse hole yes and I wanted to see if a mouse came out of it you'll see it later but it never came because I want to see that interaction with the mouse and the cat so hmm, I was pretty much amazed when I didn't find a two-seated couch that matches that three seated couch so it, we have only one seated couch and two 
armchairs or an armchair and a dining chair which I thought it was odd I have to say because I wanted a two-seated couch like that not a three but I worked with what I have had and this rug is cute I love it I love it I love that the sims team mm, incorporated that rug in there so you can see after I talk a bit my enthusiast is a bit low <laughs> in there because I don't know I found some many plants some many plants some other plants that I didn't use so I had to use them okay you see that mouse that mouse hole and no mouse came out of that mm -mm. This little balcony area, I think it's my favorite. My favorite, I can definitely see myself spending some summer nights in this. Mm, playing something, playing cards with my friends or something. I don't know, reading, painting, doing some activities in there. And maybe in a rainy day. It's a perfect place to be. I love, love this balcony. It's actually my favorite spot of the whole house and yeah some more plants because why not placing plants everywhere some if you cannot place more plants you get a picture with more plants because this is how we do <laughs> okay on this shelf on this shelf so what do we place in here some pickles i guess see jars full of pickles or cat eyes <laughs> Maybe she's collecting cat eyes. I don't know. I'm just saying, man. She's a crazy cat lady. And right here, that underneath the outdoor seat, it makes it look like the books stay on the bench and the suitcases are under the bench. And I think it was cool. Choosing the wallpaper for the bedroom. And it was time to use that. This, this bed came with expansion pack and it is gorgeous. I'm so happy that they give us more beds. And the, the wardrobe, is that the wardrobe? Yeah, I think it has such a cute color with that mint green. And it looks like it's painted, but painted a long time ago and the paint came off a bit. I thought it was perfect and in this bedroom the color schemes the color scheme is this green with that grayish blue and a bit of pink and you can see that from the kitty bed at the ending of the bed the kitty bed and the rug will be peach peach pink and I think all these colors are so calm calming and actually cute i'd love to have a bedroom with this warm colors peaceful colors <sighs> and some magazines maybe you want to read in bed and more clutter items because who doesn't like clutter items you know okay what else oh she's going good to have a computer in the bathroom maybe she will have some sim the sim petstagram <laughs> petstagram i don't know and officially after 18 19 minutes my kitty finished her grooming hey what you doing <laughs> maybe she wants food she always wants food is she done? Yes, yeah, she's staring at the wall. She's done. <laughs> and right here, right here, another perfect favorite part of this is me scaling down some animal statues and placing this on the shelves like you collected that from kinder or something. I thought they were cute, cute. A little kinder collection in there. And I placed that statue that came with is that from a mexican holiday i forgot i think it is it's from the day of the dead holiday i guess i love it it's my favorite statue from all the sims 
before that and the llama that came with vampires I love them and the kitty is trying to get into a box right here oh no she forgot to groom her left paw <laughs> she's cute right here I wanted to use this corner couch because I've never ever used it and I thought this is the perfect place because I didn't have room indoors so I wanted to use it outdoor okay <laughs> okay I will get rid of that bonsai tree because I don't know why maybe it was the perfect house to have a bonsai tree but I will place it with something else yes that rug that so this expansion pack came with the perfect rugs ever more plants will have a lot a lot of more plants in this area I don't know I think if you have this many plants in real life it will take it will take you all day to water them all day every day almost every day because not all plants need water every day but painful you don't you don't have time for your job or your cats with all that plants and the cats your day is full 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 placing some candles I love those candles yes and that chair this is so colorful on the deck right here it is extremely colorful and I like it I like it a lot actually so in the night time it looks gorgeous with those those candles gorgeous just gorgeous see bye bye bonsai tree welcome some kitty stuff <laughs> because she has so many and each and every one deserves a place to sleep and the bathroom is going to be the um, um, last room of the house and I'm bringing that green, blue, gray and peach again and I didn't realize it actually so this is pretty much done thank you for watching and leave a comment or a like if you enjoy it and see you next time and I leave you with the screenshots. Bye!